What's up guys, this is Mike. It's Dan. Do you have a pet that you love? And if you do, would you pet symmetry that sucker? I mean, you ask me stuff like this all the time. We do stuff about reanimation, yeah. marrying the dead off. This is a heck no for me. Let, let me explain something first of all. Yeah. Some of you might be watching this and going, what's pet symmetry? <laughs> I just realized I most people watch that. I just realized right? I used to reference that. Some of you may not. Oh, it's an older, it's, it's older movie. It's You're an right. older movie. It's an older right. horror movie. You're right. It's it's about basically a pet cemetery where if you bury it, things come back alive to kill you. Yeah, and they come back evil. Yeah. Okay. So there's this uh, there's this thing in, in South Korea. Yeah. This the the Seoul um, Biotech Research Foundation in Seoul. Basically, um, first of all, they claim that they've cloned 700 dogs. 700 dogs. Yeah. Okay. And now um, this is open to the public. Uh, and American media went over to do a story on this because mm -hmm. this is insane, guys. Like, there's not a lot of places in the world where you could basically give them your deceased pet's DNA, mm -hmm. and they will give you, they will give you your pet back. Cl like, like looking exactly. Like little that, that's, scruffy. That's messed up. Okay, and, it's so messed up. And they, this is this is not cheap. Obviously, uh, they charge sixty nine thousand pounds, which is over a hundred thousand dollars. And people have done this. So there is a couple, a British couple. Um, this is just one of the couples yeah. that have done this. So they basically gave the DNA of their dead boxer to this, and out came two new dogs now from the DNA. And they said it looks exactly like uh, like Dylan. And, and, and it's just like, holy cow, this is insane, right? This is, Tell first, me of this all, insane. first of all, it's insane. Right. Secondly, it's an insane amount of money. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because it's not easy to do. Okay. It's not easy and to do. And thirdly, where does this stop? Okay, let's get to that in a second. But yeah. first of all, first of all, I'm, I'm looking at some of this footage, guys. We'll show you the photos. Look at this footage. Um, there's there's going to be more stories about it later on because this mm. is just kind of developing, right? Um, like if you i'm looking at this i see the dog in this pet first of all this reminds me literally of any horror zombie robot movie it's just like a specimen to me like you've to me like this is this is this dog does it have a soul is it, it doesn't have a soul. i mean it's, but it's it's sam winchester i mean like okay okay but people will t be a lot but like clearly this couple is like love they're, they're floored in well, a good well, way they're like let yeah. me let me say something that might not be too popular. Okay. People treat their pets like like humans. More yeah. And and that that kind of it doesn't bother me because you might love your pet. I, I sure. don't care. But it's still a pet. Correct. No, but but but, but that's the thing, you, and that's not a popular like what you're saying. A lot of people might be like, oh, well, well it's what? part of my family. Okay, I get that. Right. You might feel that way. I, but to me, I'm just saying personally, it's still. I mean, I love animals. I love animals. Right. But it's still a pet. Absolutely. And you're kind of like mentally prepared to lose your pets yeah, because yeah. they don't live as long as you. No. So to be able to spend that astronomical amount of money right. to bring a pet back. But you're not bringing it back though. It's not your dead no, no, pet. No, but I, I get that. Yeah. But I'm saying like you you love that particular pet yeah. and it comes back, like I said, pet cemetery Correct. That's my issue. Is okay. Money aside, that's an astronomical amount of money. Like that's half a half two years of tuition for your kid, right? I'm just saying, like, when it comes back, you gotta know that that that's a new pet. It will. It, it doesn't. Well, but that's not what people want. They want their old pet back. And and they gotta know you're not getting your pet back. It's just the shell of your old pet. Yeah. So the, so so, well, you don't know what's going on in the brain of that pet. And because because like we believe in souls, right? Correct. We believe in souls that. People come back. We believe in souls. Supernatural believes in souls. Absolutely. You know, people come back and they 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 are different. Yes. Because the soul is gone. That's why I. That's why when you ask me stuff like uh, reanimation, I'm like, look, it, it, we are very spiritual, so uh, we would be sad to see any loved one go. But if that's the case, but I, okay. You know so I mean? so this is eventually going towards the fact that if you lost a child, of course you it lost is the loved one. Dude, of course it is. You can bring them back. Okay, right now, cloning people is illegal. Yeah. Think about this for a second, guys. It's not impossible. It's very possible. It's just illegal. Right. But know that we we're already there. I mean, if you could if you could clone a sheep, this all started back in 1996. If you remember, on the cover of Time magazine, whatever, Dolly cloned sheep. Remember that, right? Yeah. 
Okay, now you can, now it's 20 years later. You better, you, you bet you they could clone people now. Okay, so let's say they can clone people. Here's my other, other thing about this whole thing. Right. right. Let's say you can clone people. Right. What's to stop, let's say, um, not just the love one anymore. Yeah. What if there's a super rich guy? He's like, yeah. I'm obsessed with Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. What if I just clone my own Scarlett Johansson? Whoa. Right now, there's nothing. The only thing stopping him is the law. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. Let's say in the future, yeah. law is gone. Oh. <laughs> so, what? so it's not just the fact of people lost a loved one, brother, sister, no, son, daughter, yeah. father, no mother, kid. whatever. Yeah. Now, what if I have a lot of money? I'm like, yeah. I want my own Scarlett Johansson. Well, that's the that's the I'll issue. I'll buy some shit DNA. Yeah. That's what we're trying to stop. That's what. That's why the laws are in place. Yo, you could. We just watched the Winter Soldier. Okay, now you're talking about entire armies of clone soldiers, okay? Clone Wars, Winter Soldier, genetically modified, de that, that's what we're trying to stop right now. So my question is, it's not illegal to clone a, an, an animal in Europe, okay? Right. And, and apparently in Korea, it's not illegal either. So where do you draw the line at some point, right? Well, I think we draw the line when these things come back and start murdering people. <laughs> like, that's where we draw the line. Yo, I'm I'm just like I'm I'm just like that's not fluffy anymore. Like, I'll, I'll tell you this right now. I'll tell you this right now. If I had a kid, yeah, I'm not having a kid, but if I had a if kid, you did. If I had a kid, and my wife like, uh, let's say my wife reanimated a kid yeah. without my permission. Yeah, it's like you know, then taught to me just when when re reanimated a kid. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm moving. Yeah. I'm moving. I'm not living with that kid. That kid's evil. Yo. <laughs> You're gonna, you know what's gonna happen? The kid's gonna come home, right? And then, and then you, you, you'll randomly see this kid holding a butcher knife. Right. Like, you'll all of a sudden be like, Tommy, what you got behind your back? Oh, uh, I'm butcher knife. You're like, hey daddy, what are you doing with that, Tommy? Oh, uh, cutting some potatoes. Yeah, really? He's... Potatoes, you need a butcher knife, Tommy, to cut potatoes? You don't need that? He's like, I'm making your favorite dish, dad. And the whole time he's just staring at you. Yo, and, and here's my answer to, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be like, Oh, how, why wouldn't you want your loved one back from the dead or a loved animal? The thing is, look, guys, we like, like we said, Mike and I are very spiritual, okay? So in any type of spirituality, in any religion, whatever you believe in, life and death, there's a purpose to it. There's a path. There's, sure. It's not just like humans can do whatever they want, people, right? Play God. Play God. Guys, this is what you're doing. You're playing God. You're recloning, you're reanimating things, things that nature never intended. So my belief is, when you mess with nature, you're gonna get burned. You're gonna get burned, okay? You, you're not more powerful than life that's been going on for hundreds of millions I, of I years. I don't think okay? I don't think there's been a single movie. I'm, you know, I'm just talking about movies, whatever. Okay, this okay. is movies. There has never been a single movie where something came back alive and it was good. A good thing. Never have you seen a movie where you're like, hey, let's bury, bury mommy in the backyard after she got hit by a car, she came back alive and happily ever after. No, it's <sighs> never been like that. Okay, oh my God. Night of the Living Dead, Pet Cemetery, uh, every single else thing ever. Any kind of clone thingy. I mean, this is literally the line. What's scary about this for me is they're taking a direction into showing, it's like a, it's like a small step, right? The line is this imaginary line between cloning humans and not cloning humans. When you see stuff like this, companies are like, well, nothing happened to the animals. You know, like, it's, just, it's just a one step closer to one nation being like, having the technology and being like, yeah, we can clone, we'll let our nation clone people. Cause it's not a global law. No. It's it's just a country law. It's gonna get there eventually. And that's, that's Yo, could potentially how the zombie apocalypse happens. Do you do you think the governments of the world secret project are already cloning humans? Yeah. You you think so? S soldiers. You I think, think so. so? Yeah. You think so? I think so. I, I think that it's not, I don't think they have started doing it yet. Cause that's so unethical. Like, yeah, because ethics is what keeps government from doing things. I'm just saying, if one government's doing it, they're all doing it. Because they gotta keep up, keep up. They gotta on. try. Oh my God. I mean, that's just the way it world girls. But oh. let us know your thoughts on the story. Let us know, would you clone your pet? Let's say it doesn't cost a hundred billion dollars. Just would the you, concept. Would you clone your pet if it yeah. does? Thanks for watching. See you later.